Foreign Secretary and I left London ten days ago, I spoke of our trip as a voyage of discovery. And like any such voyage, this one has had its moments of, shall I say, uncertainty, as well as its moments of hope and satisfaction. I'm sure that it was a voyage that was, had to be undertaken, and that it was worth making. We were able, as you know, to see something of the life of the people of the Soviet Union, and to visit the Ukraine, Kiev, Leningrad, as well as Moscow. And everywhere we went, we were given a very friendly reception from the people. We were able also to see something of the efforts that are being made to raise the standards of living in the Soviet Union. And that's a good thing, because it means that the Soviet Union must have, as we have, a strong vested interest in peace. For war would destroy, with them as with us, all that they're trying to build up. Well, then we learned a good deal about life and thinking in Russia. And I hope we did something to spread a better and wider understanding to them of how we see things in Britain. Foreign Secretary and I tried to do this in our speeches, which were very well reported in the Soviet press. And I tried to do it especially in a TV broadcast, which I made last night in Moscow. <coughs> it was a speaking to perhaps millions and millions of people, each phrase translated as you spoke, and feeling perhaps we could get into the minds of people who I'd never seen and could never see, some picture of what we are like at home. About themselves, I talked to them about our island, our country, what we are doing and what we believe in, and the kind of way of life that we have built up here. As regards the uh, agreements made of a direct Anglo-Soviet kind, we have agreed that a British trade mission led by a minister shall visit Moscow shortly, and I hope that good results will flow from that. Not extravagant, because it's not possible to do that, but I think considerable increase of trade can be arranged. And then we made progress on what is called rather pompously cultural relations. Well, that really means buying each other's books, newspapers, films, and all the rest of the way in which people get to know each other. Of course, now, Foreign Secretary and I must go off again next week to have talks with our friends and allies in Paris, in Bonn, and after that, I hope, in Washington. So we must concert together our policies for the wider negotiations which must take place in the near future over these great issues. Right. Thank you very much. At the end of the Prime Minister's statement here at London Airport, now I hand you back to the studio and you do return from Moscow. We say goodbye from London Airport and return you to the studio. Thank you very much.